Felicitous greetings, fellow fanatics. Welcome back, one and all. I'm Anastag. You may recall that back in February, I did a preview of OT Fantasy Draft, a biblically themed card drafting game by Fun Hill Games. Now that the game has officially been released, it's time to take a look at the finished product. There haven't been any major changes to the rules, just typos and clarifications of what's already there. As such, I'll not be doing an overview of the game. If you need to see that, check the link in the description to see my original preview. For this video, we'll be focusing on my final thoughts, the component quality, and the game's new solo mode. Yes, the biggest addition to the game since its prototype is a solo mode, and it's pretty simple to do. Setup is the same as before. You'll shuffle up the deck, draw two, and keep one. Though I suppose there's no reason to keep it hidden here. Draw five cards for the initial draft line as usual. After you take a card, discard the three leftmost cards, then slide any remaining cards to the left before refilling the draft line. After you've done seven rounds of drafting, you'll total up your points and see how you did. Obviously, some cards are less useful in this mode, and since you're cycling less cards than normal, you won't see as much of the deck and can't rely on every card showing up. The rulebook includes rankings to see just how well you did. My current best is 164, so I still have a little ways to go to reach the top. On to components. Before the cards, I should mention that the finished product does come with a first player token, so you can remind yourself of who started the current round. It's just a simple cardboard token, and it has the same art as the front of the box. As for the cards themselves, they're of decent thickness and pretty close to poker size. They're a little wider and ever so slightly shorter. The artwork looks great with a very professional comic book-like aesthetic to it, and many of the character poses actually do make use of the football theme, whereas then cards look very much like team emblems. All in all, OT Fantasy Draft is an enjoyable, lightweight title. The abilities on the cards are actually quite thematic in a strange yet satisfying way. If you're familiar with the Bible, it'll make perfect sense to you as to why the various cards interact with one another the way that they do. But at the same time, it's not at all required to know the Bible to understand the game and how to play. That being said, if you're considering using it as something like a Sunday school aid to help with teaching, then you might want to consider something like Fun Hill's earlier titles, Kings of Israel or Disciple Detective instead. But if you're just looking to enjoy a quick little game that makes for a great icebreaker, then you'll find that OT Fantasy Draft suits your purpose as well. In conclusion, I find OT Fantasy Drafty worthy a solid 7.8 out of 10. If you're interested in purchasing OT Fantasy Draft or learning more, links are included in the description. What about you? What do you think of OT Fantasy Draft? What football themed games do you enjoy? If you have any questions, remarks, or posing points of view, leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell. And if you really enjoy my work, please consider funding my channel on Patreon. Until next time, farewell, fellow fanatics. Thank you again for watching. I have plenty more to share with you if you're interested. You can click up here above my head to subscribe to my channel. You can click over here on my monitor to see the most recent video that I've worked on. Or if you prefer, you can click up here to open this mysterious vault and see what video that the YouTube algorithm has picked just for you.